Jeff Foxworthy, and welcome to Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Jeff Foxworthy, we are happy to have you with us today. Let's find out, are you smarter than a fifth grader? All right, time to meet your classmates. Alicia. Yeah. Juliet. Woohoo. Louis. Awesome. George. All right. And Jeremy. Cool. It's time to meet our player. Glad to be here, Jeff. All right, let me tell you how to play the game. Up on the board are going to be ten subjects. Questions range from first grade through the fifth grade. Your first correct answer is worth $1,000. If you get the tenth question correct, it is worth $500,000. If you do answer all ten questions correctly, we give you an opportunity to answer an additional grade school question and if you get it right, you'll win one million dollars. Remember, if at any point the pressure gets to be too high, you can take the money that you've bankrolled up to that point, and you can drop out of our little school. Let me remind you of your cheats. During the course of the game, you have two cheats. You can peek at your classmate's paper only once during the game, and if you like their answer, you can use it. If you don't, you can go with your own. You may also copy your classmates' paper only one time per game, but you have to take the answer they have written down. Or, if you think you know the answer, once during the game you can use a save. That means if you answer incorrectly, but your classmate at the podium has the right answer, they can save you. You can only use each cheat once, and when they're gone, you won't be able to get any help from your classmates for the rest of the game, so use them wisely. You can drop out of school at any time and take whatever money you've earned. But before you can walk away with a loot, you have to tell the whole world that you are not smarter than a fifth grader. Is it a deal? Absolutely. Let's do it then. It's time to decide which one of these young scholars you want to be your classmate. I'm going to pick Julia. Here are the subjects for today's game. Grammar, health, U.S. geography, English, social studies, vocabulary, cultural studies, measurements, science, art. All right, let's find out. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Pick a subject. So what are your favorite subjects? My favorites are definitely grammar. U.S. Geography, and Social Studies. Glad I asked. Social Studies. Okay, for $1,000, here's the question. Your classmate is locked in. I'm going to lock in my answer. You are now locked in. You've got one thousand dollars. One thousand dollars. Which subject do you want? U.S. Geography. Okay. The two thousand dollar question is. Your classmate is now locked in. I think I'll peek. May we please see your classmate's answer. Locking in. Now's the time to lock in your answer. You are now locked in. You've got two thousand dollars. Two thousand dollars. 
Your classmates can only help you two questions at a time, so pick another classmate. I'm going to pick Jerry. Let's pick a subject. What do you think I should pick? My favorites are definitely grammar, health, and vocabulary. Glad I asked. Vocabulary. Okay, $5,000. Here is the question. Jeremy has locked in his answer. I'm going to say intro. Locking in. You are now locked in. That is correct. $5,000. Awesome. Pick another subject. Health. Okay. The $10,000 question is... Dental force. Okay, I'm locking in my answer. All right, your answer's locked in. You've got ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand dollars. Your classmates can only help you two questions at a time. Pick another classmate. I'm going to pick Lewis. Yeah. You've got your classmate up here with you. Pick a subject. What do you think we should do here? Well, I'm actually pretty good at cultural studies and measurements. Hmm. All right, thanks. Cultural studies. Okay, you get this next question right, and you leave with $25,000 no matter what happens to the rest of the game. I feel good about this one. I'm locking in. Okay, there it is. Your answer's locked in. You've got $25,000. $25,000. Did you even read the question? Man, that was fast. Pick another subject. Measurements. Okay, this question is almost like a freebie. No matter what happens here, you've won $25,000. If one inch equals five miles, 45 miles equals nine Lewis inches. Lewis has locked in his response. Which... 12 inches equals a foot. 9 inches, 9 out of 12 equals 3 fourths. Locking in. All right, your answer's locked in. You're going for $50,000. You've got $50,000. $50,000. You came up with the right answer pretty fast. Are you sure you're not a fifth grader? Your classmates can only help you two questions at a time, so pick another classmate. Okay, it's you and me, Alicia. Yeah! Which subject do you want? Which subject do you feel confident with? Well, my favorite subjects are... Grammar, science, and English. All right, that's good to know. English. Okay, you're playing for $100,000. E. Alicia A has locked e in her answer. I. I'm going to lock in my answer. You are now locked in. You're going for $100,000. That's not the right four. answer.
let's see if your classmate knows this stuff any better than you do. Yes! You're moving on. Your classmate just saved your bacon big time. $100,000. All right. You've got $100,000. Your classmate really saved you that time. You're awesome. Thank you. Pick another subject. Science. Okay, you're playing for $175,000. Your classmate is now locked in. Okay, I'm locking in my answer. All right, your answer's locked in. I'm pretty sure. You're going for $175,000. I think. Nope, sorry. Where? Ah! It's okay. Wow, I was sure about that one too. There's your answer highlighted up Mono there. Lola. Show us the correct answer, please. Yep. I'm sorry, but you have flunked out of school. Oh no, I can't believe I missed that one. Before you go, I need you to tell the entire world that you are not smarter, than, not a smarter than a fifth grader. I am not smarter than a fifth grader. Thank you for being with us, too. We'll see you next time on Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Bye-bye, everybody. Okay, it's time to pick which fifth grader you want to help you out when the questions get too hard. It's you and me, George. Let's see the list of subjects for this game. Art, measurements, English, U.S. geography, reading, astronomy, cultural studies, world history, social studies, animal science. All right, let's find out. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Pick a subject. Which subject do you feel confident with? Well, actually, I'm pretty good at... Reading, measurements, and astronomy. All right, that's good to know. Reading. Okay, the $1,000 question is... I have uh, pee. Your classmate... Jeff, I'm going to use my key. I have no idea. Not too sure of yourself, huh? Well, let's see what your classmate said. Okay, I'm locking in Now's my answer. Now's the time to lock in your answer. You've got $1,000. $1,000. Awesome. You've got your classmate up here with you. Pick a subject. Astronomy. Okay, the $2,000 question is... White. Locking in. That very well could be the right answer. Oh. But it's not. No! Wow. I was sure about that one, too. I guess I read the question wrong. Let's see if your classmate knows this stuff any better than you do. Gravity? These fifth graders really know their stuff. Awesome. $2,000. You've got two thousand dollars. Luckily, you've got a pretty smart classmate there. Thank you very much. Your classmates can only help you two questions at a time, so pick another classmate. I'm gonna go with Elisa. Let's pick a subject. Which subject do you feel confident with? My best subjects are English and animal science. That is helpful information. English. Okay, the $5,000 question is... C-O-R. 
and your classmate is now locked in. Absolutely. I'm gonna do a four. Locking in. Now where I come from, they call that a right answer. Five thousand dollars. Let's pick a subject. Animal science. Okay, this next question is worth ten thousand dollars. Uh. Alicia has locked in her response. I'm going to have to copy my classmate. Answer. I have a guess, but I don't know. No, I'm sorry. Ugh. It's okay. You're kidding. Oh, no. Okay, let's see the correct answer. I would have been wrong. We've reached the end of the line, my friend. You just flunked out of school. I can't believe it. I am now smaller than a fifth grader. All right, it is time to say those eight magic words. I am not smarter than a fifth grader. I just proved beyond a shadow of a doubt that I am not smarter than a fifth grader. Thank you for being with us, too. We'll see you next time on Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Bye-bye, everybody. All right, it's time to decide which one of these young scholars you want to be your classmate. It's you and me, Lewis. Yeah. Here are the subjects for today's game. Grammar, world geography, animal science, U.S. history, earth science, vocabulary, measurements, music, astronomy, social studies. All right, let's find out. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Pick a subject. So what are your favorite subjects? My favorites are definitely measurements, world geography, and U.S. history. Okay, thanks. What do you think I should pick? Well, my favorite subjects are measurements, world geography, and U.S. history. Okay. Measurements. Okay. The $1,000 question is... Lewis has locked in his answer. Locking in. Nope. I should have no. coffee. Aw, oh, man. I wonder if your partner can get you out of this one. Trophy? Your classmate must have been absent that day. Wow. That's all she wrote, partner. You just flunked out. Wow. I just flunked out. Before you go, I need you to tell the entire world that you are not smarter than a fifth grader. I just proved beyond a shadow of a doubt that I am not smarter than a fifth grader. Thank you for being with us, too. We'll see you next time on Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Bye-bye, everybody. Okay, it's time to pick which fifth... I'm going to pick Junior. Here are the subjects for today's game. Grammar, health, U.S. geography, world geography, life science, animal science, measurements, science, art, physical science. All right, let's find out. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Pick a subject. What do you think we should do here? My favorites are definitely life science, measurements. And science. Hmm. All right, thanks. 
Measurements. Okay, the $1,000 question is... This time, I'm going to copy... I'm going to have to copy my classmate for this question. China. You've got one thousand dollars. One thousand dollars. Okay. Let's pick a subject. Science. Okay. The two thousand dollar question is. What? I don't know. I'd like to use my peak cheat, Jeff. Not too sure of yourself, huh? Well, let's see what your classmate said. Okay. I feel good about Now's it. the time to lock in, in your answer. You've got two thousand dollars. Two thousand dollars. It's time to decide which one of these young scholars you want to be your classmate. I'm gonna go with Lewis. Yeah. Pick your next subject. What are you good at? Well, I think I'm good at U.S. Geography, World Geography, and Physical Science. Glad I asked. <laughs> physical Science. Okay, for $5,000, here is the question. I'm gonna go with a note. Your classmate is locked in already. Okay, I'm locking in my answer. You've got five thousand dollars. Five thousand dollars. You've got your classmate up here with you. Pick a subject. War geography. Okay, the ten thousand dollar question is. Well. I believe Brazil borders the Atlantic Ocean. Lewis has locked in his response. I'm going to lock in my answer. You've got ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand awesome. dollars. Your classmates can only help you two questions at a time, so pick another classmate. It's you and me, Juliet. You've got your classmate up here with you. Pick a subject. What do you think I should pick? Well, I'm actually pretty good at grammar, U.S. geography, and art. All right. That's good to know. Oh. Okay. This is one of the biggest questions on the board because regardless what happens the rest of the game, the least you can win is $25,000. Leonardo da Vinci. Juliet has locked in her answer. Okay, I'm locking in my answer. You've got $25,000. $25,000. This subject must be your specialty. Pick another subject. U.S. Geography. Okay, no matter what happens, you've got $25,000. It's almost like a freebie question, because if you get it wrong, the worst thing that can happen to you is you walk away with the exact amount of money that you have right now. I know Wood Island. I'm pretty sure it's just one. Okay, I'm locking in my answer. All right, your answer's locked in. You're going for $50,000. You've got fifty thousand dollars. Fifty thousand dollars. Did you even read the question? Man, that was fast. We have to say goodbye to this classmate and pick a new one. I'm going to pick Alicia. Yes.
Pick your next subject. What are you good at? Well, I think I'm good at grammar and animal science. That is helpful information. Animal science. Okay, you're playing for one hundred thousand dollars. Alicia locked in her answer very quickly. I'm gonna say tundra. I'm going to lock in my answer. I have no idea. There you go. You're locked in. I'm just guessing. You're going for one hundred thousand dollars. That is incorrect. It's okay. No. No. Ah oh, man. Okay, it's time to check out your classmate's answer. Yes, you're moving on. Your classmate just saved your bacon big time. One hundred thousand yes. dollars. You've got one hundred thousand dollars. Your classmate just bailed you out big time. Thank you very much. Pick another subject. Grammar. All right, for one hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars, may we see the question, please? Mister, I feel good about this one. I'm locking in, Jeff. All right, your answer's locked in. You're going for one hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars. You must have learned something in school because that's the right answer. Thousand dollars. Excellent work. Let's pick a subject. Health. All right, here's our question for three hundred thousand dollars. Uh, it's not food or dairy. Locking in. There you go. You're locked in. You're going for three hundred thousand dollars. That is this protein. Ah. That was very. There's the answer dumb. you gave. Tell us the correct one, please. Okay. We've reached the end of the line, my friend. You just flunked out of school. Wow. I just flunked out. On the first grade. Now repeat Russian. after me. I, I am, am not, not smarter, smarter than, than a fifth grader. grader. I am not smarter than a fifth grader. Thank you for being with us too. We'll see you next time on Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Bye bye, everybody. It's time to meet our player. What you're going to do here is pick out which fifth grader. I'm going to go with Juliet. Cool. Here are the subjects for today's game: animal science, science, health, social studies, math, life science, measurements, reading. Art, music. All right, let's find out. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Pick a subject. What are you good at? Well, my favorite subjects are health, measurements, and art. Hmm. All right, thanks. Measurements. Okay, you're playing for one thousand dollars on this first question. Bicentennial. Julianne, lock in her answer very quickly. Okay, I'm locking in my answer. You must have learned something in school because that's the right answer. One thousand dollars. You've got your classmate up here with you. Pick a subject. Arts. Okay, the two thousand dollar question is. 
Juliet locked in her answer very quickly. Key. I'll peek at my classmates' answer. May we please see your classmates' answer? I'm going to lock in my answer. If you're happy with that answer, go ahead and lock it in. You've got two thousand dollars. Two thousand dollars. Oh damn. It's time to decide which one of these young scholars you want to be your classmate. I'm going to pick Jeremy. Yes! You've got your classmate up here with you. Pick a subject. What do you think we should do here? Well, I'm actually pretty good at health and music. All right, that's good to know. Music. Okay, you're playing for five thousand dollars. Jeremy locked in his answer very quickly. I'd like to use my copy, Jeff. Mido. No, I'm sorry. Ah! Rats. There's your answer highlighted up there. Show us the correct answer, please. I am not smaller than the fifth grade. That's all she wrote, partner. You just flunked out. Oh, man. I thought for sure I had it. All right, it is time to say those eight magic words. I am, I am not, not smarter, smarter than a fifth, than a fifth grader. grader. I just proved beyond a shadow of a doubt that I am not smarter than a fifth grader. Thank you for being with us, too. We'll see you next time on Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Bye-bye, everybody. What you're going to do here is pick out which fifth grader you want to help you answer. I'm going to go with Jeremy. Yeah. Let's see the list of subjects for this game. Earth science, health, world geography, measurements, life science, English, physical science, Science. Science. World, World history. history. Astronomy. Astronomy. All, right, All right, let's find out. out. Are, Are you smarter, smarter than, than a fifth, fifth grader? grader? Pick a subject. What subjects, what subjects do you feel comfortable with? Well, I think I'm good at it. World history and health. Glad I asked. Health. Okay, for $1,000, here's the question. Your classmate is now locked in. I'm gonna I'll peek. peek at my classmate's answer. Now let's see your classmate's answer. Locking in. If you're happy with that answer, go ahead and lock it. You've got one thousand dollars. One thousand yes. dollars. Okay. Pick another subject. World history. Okay. The $2,000 question is... Jeremy locked in his answer very quickly. I'm going to say 4,000 years. I'm locking in. No. Oh. No. No. Oh, man. Let's see if your partner can handle this one. Yes! Your classmate just bailed you out. Yes, yes! $2,000. You've got $2,000. Thankfully, your classmate knew the answer to that one. Thank you very much. We have to say goodbye to this classmate and pick a new one. I'm going to go with Alicia. Yeah. You've got
got your classmate up here with you. Pick a subject. What are you good at? Well, I think I'm good at English, science, and astronomy. Glad I asked. Astronomy. Okay, you're playing for five thousand dollars. Alicia locked in her answer very quickly. I'm gonna say he. Okay, um, I'm locking in my answer. You've got five thousand dollars. Five thousand dollars. Pick another subject. English. All right, for ten thousand dollars, may we see the question, please? Alicia locked in her answer very quickly. Okay, I'm locking in my answer. You've got ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand dollars. Your classmates can only help you two questions at a time. Pick another classmate. It's you and me, Lewis. Yeah. Pick your next subject. So, what are your favorite subjects? Well, my favorite subjects are world geography, physical science, and measurements. Okay, thanks. Physical science. Okay, you get this next question right, and you leave with twenty-five thousand dollars, no matter what happens the rest of the game. Your classmate is now locked in. I'll go ahead and copy my classmate. You've got twenty-five thousand dollars. Twenty-five thousand dollars. Pick another subject. Measurements. Okay. This question is almost like a freebie. No matter what happens here, you've won twenty-five thousand dollars. I'm going to lock in my answer. One hundred. There you go. You're locked in. You're going for fifty thousand dollars. You've got fifty thousand dollars. Fifty thousand dollars. This subject must be your specialty. Pick another subject. Of science. Okay, you're playing for one hundred thousand dollars. I'm gonna say true. I'm going to lock in my answer. Okay, there it is. Your answer's locked in. You're going for one hundred thousand dollars. You answered that one pretty fast, and believe it or not. It's the right answer. One hundred thousand dollars. Great job. Let's pick a subject. War geography. All right, for one hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars, may we see the question, please? I thought I was at the pause. Okay, I'm locking in my answer. You've got one hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars. One hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars. You came up with the right answer pretty fast. Are you sure you're not a fifth grader? Which subject do you want? Life science. Okay, the three hundred thousand dollar question is. Well. I believe fungus belongs to the same category as a mushroom, which would be a decomposer. Okay, I'm locking in my answer. There you go. You're locked in. You're going for three hundred thousand dollars. You've got three hundred thousand dollars. Three hundred thousand dollars. This subject must be your specialty. So it's between 
me and a science question. Okay, for half a million dollars, here's the question. I have absolutely no idea. Hey, I'm gonna drop out of school. I'm dropping out of school. You've dropped out of school. You've won three hundred thousand dollars. Now repeat after me. I am not smarter, am than, a not fifth smarter than a fifth grader. I'm not smarter than a fifth grader, but I am richer. Goodbye, everybody. We'll see you again next time. It's time to meet our first player. It's time to decide which one of these young scholars... I'm going to go with George. Yes! Here are the subjects for today's game. Music, math, grammar, English, animal science, vocabulary, world geography... Social studies, earth science, astronomy. All right, let's find out. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Pick a subject. What are you good at? My favorites are definitely earth science and astronomy. Glad I asked. Oops. Okay, for $1,000, here's the question. I'm going to say true. Locking in. You probably just picked the first answer you saw, but luckily it was the right one. One thousand dollars. Let's pick a subject. Astronomy. Okay, the two thousand dollar question is... George locked in his answer very quickly. I'd like to use my peak cheat, Jeff. Let's have a look at what your classmate wrote down. I'm going to lock in my answer. Now's the time to lock in your answer. You've got two thousand dollars. Two thousand dollars. It's time to decide which one of these young scholars you want to be your classmate. I'm going to pick Juliet. You've got your classmate up here with you. Pick a subject. So what are your favorite subjects? My best subjects are grammar, world geography, and social studies. Okay, thanks. World geography. Okay, for $5,000, here is the question. South. Wait. South Juliet America. has locked in her answer. Locking in. You've got five thousand dollars. Five thousand dollars. You've got your classmate up here with you. Pick a subject. Social studies. Okay. The ten thousand dollar question is. That's the capital. Juliet has locked in her response. I'm going to lock in my answer. That is correct. Ten thousand dollars. Your classmates can only help you two questions at a time. Pick another classmate. I'm going to pick Alicia. Pick your next subject. What subjects do you feel comfortable with? Well, I think I'm good at grammar, animal science, and math. Okay, thanks. Animal science. Okay, you get this next question right, and you leave with $25,000 no matter what happens the rest of the game.
I'm going to have to copy my classmate for this one. You've got twenty-five thousand dollars. Twenty-five thousand dollars. Pick another subject. English. Okay. No matter what happens, you've got twenty-five thousand dollars. It's almost like a freebie question because if you get it wrong, the worst thing that can happen to you is you walk away with the exact amount of money that you have right One, now. One, two, three, four. Five six. One two three four five six. Locking in. Okay, there it is. Your answer's locked in. You're going for fifty thousand dollars. That's it. That's the right answer. Fifty thousand dollars. Outstanding. We have to say goodbye to this classmate and pick a new one. I'm going to pick Jeremy. Yes. You've got your classmate up here with you. Pick a subject. What do you think I should pick? My best subjects are music, grammar, and. Vocabulary. All right, that's good to know. Vocabulary. Okay, you're playing for one hundred thousand dollars. So and so. Jeremy locked in his answer very quickly. I'm going to lock in my answer. There you go. You're locked in. You're going for one hundred thousand dollars. You got that one. Right. One hundred thousand dollars. Way to go! That was some nice work. You've got your classmate up here with you. Pick a subject. Grammar. All right. For one hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars, may we see the question, please? Walk in. Okay, there it is. Your answer's locked in. You're going for one hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars. You've got one hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars. One hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars. Did you even read the question? Man, that was fast. You're down to your last classmate. Cool. Let's pick a subject. Which subject do you feel confident with? Sorry, but my best subjects aren't up there. Okay, thanks. Music. Okay, the three hundred thousand dollar question is. Lewis locked in his answer very quickly. Al Capello. All right, your answer's locked in. You're going for three hundred thousand dollars. That's it. That's the right answer. All right. Way to go. That was some nice work. First grade math. Okay. This next question is worth half a million dollars. Fifty-nine greater than sixty-seven. One. Your classmate 15, is now locked in. Fifteen greater than fifteen. One. Ninety-eight is less than twenty. One. Twenty-three is less than thirty-five. Correct. I'm going to lock in my answer. All right, your answer's locked in. You're going for five hundred thousand dollars. You've got five hundred thousand dollars. Five hundred thousand dollars. You came up with the right answer pretty fast. Are you sure you're not a fifth grader? You realize what time it is now, don't you? You bet. 
You've reached the million dollar question. Here's how this deal works. I'm going to tell you the subject of the million dollar question, and right then and there, you'll have to decide if you want to try to answer it or not. Let's see what the subject of the million dollar question is. And there it is, the million dollar subject. Now you'll need to make the call. Either go for the million or drop out and walk away with $500,000. If you go for it, you won't get any help from your classmates, and if you get it wrong, you'll walk away with $25,000. Or you could get it right and win a million dollars. What are you going to do? Sure. Jeff, I'm going for it. You'll either walk out of here with $1 million, or you'll walk out with $25,000. What organ stores fluid waste in the human body? One million dollars is on the line here, so take your time and think about it very carefully before you decide to lock in your answer. Oh boy. I'm going to say small intestine. Okay, I'm locking in my answer. That is incorrect. Oh, I can't believe what a moron I am. Up there, you see your answer. Now let's see the right one. Brad, uh... We've reached the end of the line, my friend. You just flunked out of school. I can't believe what a moron I am. I am not smaller than fifth grade. All right, it's time to say those eight magic words. I am not smarter than a fifth grader. I am not smarter than a fifth grader. Goodbye, everybody. We'll see you again next time. It's time. What you're going to do here is pick out which fifth grader you want to help you answer the really tough questions. I'm going to pick Luke. Cool. Here are the subjects for today's game. Music, science, U.S. geography, health, English, world history. Reading, U.S. History, Animal Science, Astronomy. All right, let's find out. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Pick a subject. What do you think we should do here? My favorites are definitely U.S. Geography and U.S. History. Hmm. All right, thanks. U.S. Geography. Okay, the $1,000 question is... Lewis locked in his answer very quickly. Locking in. Now where I come from, they call that a right answer. One thousand dollars. Right. Which subject do you want? U.S. history. Okay. The two thousand dollar question is. I think that was double mail. Locking in. $2,000. Your classmates can only help you two questions at a time. I'm going to go with Jeremy. Yeah. Which subject do you want? So what are your favorite subjects? Well, I'm actually pretty good at music, health, and World history. Glad I asked. Health. Okay, for $5,000, here is the question. Jeremy has locked in his answer. I'm going to say five. I'm going to lock in my answer. This ain't the first time your instincts Aww. have led you astray, is it? Oh. oh no! Only your partner can help you now. You can always count on fifth graders to come through in a pinch. Five thousand dollars.
You've got $5,000. Thankfully, your classmate knew the answer to that one. Thank you so much, buddy. Pick another subject. World history. Okay, the $10,000 question is... Your classmate is locked in. Locking in. You must have learned something in school because that's the right answer. Ten thousand dollars. All right. It's time to call a new classmate to the podium. Okay, it's you and me, Alicia. Cool. Pick another subject. What do you think we should do here? Well, I'm actually pretty good at English, animal science, and science. That is helpful information. English. Okay, you get this next question right, and you leave with $25,000 no matter what happens the rest of the game. Your classmate is now locked in. I'm going to lock in my answer. You've got $25,000. $25,000. You came up with the right answer pretty fast. Are you sure you're not a fifth grader? Pick your next subject. Animal science. Okay. No matter what happens, you've got $25,000. It's almost like a freebie question, because if you get it wrong, the worst thing that can happen to you is you walk away with the exact amount of money that you have right now. Jeff, I'm going to use my copy. You're going for $50,000. No, I'm sorry. Ugh. No. There's the answer you gave. Tell us the correct one, please. Okay. I'm sorry, but you have flunked out of school. I can't believe it. Now repeat after I me. Am not I am not smarter than a fifth grader. I am not smarter than a fifth grader. Thank you for being with us, too. We'll see you next time on Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Bye-bye, everybody. It's time to pick a classmate and let's get started. I'm going to go with Lucas. Yes! All right, let's find out. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Pick a subject. What subjects do you feel comfortable with? Well, I think I'm good at social studies, measurements, and U.S. history. That is helpful information. U.S. history. Okay, the $1,000 question is... Jamestown. Locking in. You've got $1,000. $1,000. Which subject do you want? Social studies. Okay. The $2,000 question is... Lewis locked in his answer very quickly. Aston. Locking in. You've got $2,000. $2,000. It's time to call a new classmate to the podium. I'm going to pick Jeremy. Cool! Let's pick a subject. Which subject do you feel confident with? Well, I think I'm good at health and world history. Glad I asked.
Health. Okay. You're playing for $5,000. Jeremy has locked in his answer. Locking in. Nope. Really? Oh. You're kidding. Oh, no. Okay, it's time to check out your classmate's answer. I am in F. Yes, sir! You just got saved by a fifth grader. Awesome. $5,000. You've got $5,000. Looks like you'll be sticking around after all. Thank you so much, buddy. Pick another subject. Okay. History. This next question is worth ten thousand dollars. I don't know. I think I'm going to copy my classmate's answer. You've got ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand dollars. Right. It's time to call a new classmate to the podium. I'm going to pick Alicia. Cool! Which subject do you want? So what are your favorite subjects? My favorites are definitely animal science, math, and astronomy. All right, that's good to know. Math. Okay, you get this next question right, and you leave with $25,000 no matter what happens the rest of the game. If a triangle has an area... Alicia has locked in her answer. Sistine. I know it's a triangle... Area is one half base times height, so eight times four. Okay, I'm locking in my answer. After only a few short hours of deliberation, you got the right answer. Twenty-five thousand dollars. Nicely done. Which subject do you want? Astronomy. Okay, this question is almost like a freebie. No matter what happens here, you've won $25,000. Okay, I'm locking in my answer. You've got $50,000. Excellent. $50,000. You came up with the right answer pretty fast. Are you sure you're not a fifth grader? We have to say goodbye to this classmate and pick a new one. I'm going to pick Juliet. Yeah! Which subject do you want? Which subject do you feel confident with? My favorites are definitely measurements and world geography. All right, that's good to know. Measurements. Okay. The one hundred thousand dollar question is there are twelve inches and one foot. Locking in. Okay, there it is. Your answer's locked in. You're going for one hundred thousand dollars. That was pretty fast. One hundred thousand dollars. You're right. Awesome. Nicely done. Let's pick a subject. War geography. Okay, you're playing for one hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars. Julianne locked in her answer very quickly. I think I'm going to pee. Now let's see your classmate's answer. Locking in. Now's the time to lock in your answer. You've got. 
$175,000. Excellent. Let's pick a subject. English. All right, here's our question for $300,000. Oh, I have no idea. So I'm just gonna drop out of school. Jeff, I'm quitting here. You've dropped out of school. You've won $175,000. Now repeat after me. I am, me. Not, smarter I am than fifth not smarter than a fifth grader. I'm not smarter than a fifth grader, but I am richer. Thank you for being with us, too. We'll see you next time on Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Bye-bye, everybody. Hello, I'm Jeff Foxworthy. It's time to play Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Haha, <laughs> Dunstrap failed to make it past the $1,000 question.